and this grand theater. We're actually uh, further north um, in the area where the Horton uh, Plaza Mall is. And they moved it actually piece by piece in 1986 to make room for the mall. Hmm. But it's quite a spectacular hotel, especially from the front. Here on the side, it doesn't look as great. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, they moved it to make room and kept it, you know, uh, the way it once was. So it's actually quite a, I think, quite a feat to move that thing. But you can see the lines in it. It looks like where they would have cut it and moved the pieces. I don't right. think they yeah, broke up the bricks and like. redid the bricks. But. Mm -hmm. so, so basically, the building itself is just a generic building, and then they brought the facade it up. Looks like it, it, up. That's what it looks like they did. That's what it looks like they did. Maybe so. Hmm. Because the back looks like a new building, doesn't yeah. it? It doesn't look... Unless they re it on the back. Yeah, that's probably what they did. It looks like it stuccoed. But it does look like it was cut in uh -huh. four, three different places, yeah. Huh. So this area is kind of the area of, of moving stuff. This is kind of the dumping ground of the Avenue Quarter. Uh -huh. Right here across the street is the William Heath Davis house. This is a... Uh, this yellow one? This yellow mm -hmm. one, uh -huh. It's um. It's a prefab home, and we'll cross the street and get a look at it. In 1850, um, William Heath Davis bought around 180 acres of land in San Diego, mm -hmm. and he put these prefab homes up, um, but no one was buying in San Diego at that time, so he didn't do very well. He had all this land and all these homes, and actually for San Diego, this is a pretty large home, um, but again, it, we were... At that time, um, there, the country was going through a kind of a recession, and no one was really buying real estate similar to today. And uh, so he ended up selling it in the mid 1860s to Mr. Horton, who you hear about in all these uh, different buildings. And Mr. Horton purchased San, uh, the, about 200 acres of San Diego real estate for about $200, and uh, he did spectacularly. The economy turned around, and he. He's quoted numerous times saying he has so much money he doesn't know what to do with it. He just sold all these homes and all this real estate. And it was really the start of San Diego really booming. So William Heath Davis is a little bit of a sad story of, of going belly up on a risky real estate move. Um, this building is one of the original, like I said, prefab homes. It didn't have running water or electricity even in the building until 1986. And it actually wasn't originally sitting right here. Obviously, this was built, moved down here to now be a museum. 